Hello and welcome to the Malloy Midseason Report. Today I'm here with women's soccer coach Steve Price. Steve, thanks for sitting down with me. No problem, Robert. So this year you guys come in back-to-back -back champions of the ECC. How has that taken effect on you guys as a coaching staff as a whole? Do you feel like there's a target on your back? How has, how has that approach gone so far for you guys? Um, I suppose there's a target on our back. Everybody knows us. Everybody knows what we've got and what we do. But it's a nice target to have on. Um, being one of the preseason um, favorites, it's, it's, uh, we enjoy that. That's, that's pressure. That's what you're here for. So like you mentioned, preseason favorites after the back-to-back -back championships. A lot of girls from last year graduated and moved on after having very successful careers, but you kept a solid core nucleus of your team here. How have they helped you transition to a new season with a new team? It was always going to be difficult because um, we did lose some very, very uh, important players. But as you said, there was a lot of uh, the core came back. Um, and uh, yeah, they've, they've, the, the girls who've come in have helped us a lot. Um, but the, the captaincy and the, the leadership from Lexi Verney and from Sarah Tepedo, among others like uh, Eleni and such like, has been uh, it's it's been good. So it's been it's been pretty smooth. It's been you, you have some new players coming in, Michaela Bariga, Morgan Camarda, really helped you in the midfield. How have they transitioned to playing Malloy soccer? Very well. I, I coached um, uh, Michaela for about four years beforehand, so I, I knew her very very well, and I knew Morgan was a quality player. Uh, obviously, played Division One at Siena, so she she knows her way around the block. So um, that's been pretty seamless, and I actually think it actually makes us actually a little bit better ball playing team anyway. So this season, another big question that people were speaking about was the absence of Jackie Cardi, one of the best goaltenders in school history. But Shannon has stepped up and played very very well. Every game you guys have won has been a shutout. Can you talk about how good she's been in net and the positivity she brings to everybody in front of her? Yeah, she does. She's very good with her feet. Uh, she's a great character. She's a lovely girl. Um, she's safe with her handling. Um, so yes, Shannon's done a good job for us. It was always going to be very, very difficult, as you said, after Jackie, uh, who's absolutely exceptional. But Shannon was with us last year as well, so Shannon knew the task and, and what was expected of her and, she's, and she stepped up to it so very pleased with her. And of course after playing behind somebody like that, taking in all that knowledge from yeah. you guys, the coach Steph and Jackie always a big help. Correct. First part season of conference play, you guys have had a lot of success. From the non-conference schedule going into conference, what has been the biggest change you've seen between you and your players? I don't think there has been a change. We, we try to have our RP, RPIs pretty high so we like to play uh, good teams and I think that sets us up for uh, our conference play. We know there's some very, very good teams in our conference, um, so we don't duck anybody. Um, so I, th I think that our form carried on and continued. We've played 11 games. We've scored in every game. Uh, maybe we're giving away a few more goals than we'd like to, but yeah, we're, we're pretty pretty happy where we are. Now this season, it seems like you have a, a bigger rotation. You use a lot of players. You use Nicole Fabrice up front, Aaron Fogarty seeing a lot of good minutes. How is that advantage for you guys as a team to have rotating so many strikers up top? What happened was our game plan last year and the year before and the year before was always, it was Dana Poch up top and Dana Poch and Lexi Verney were the ones who actually scored all our goals. Now it's been um, shared around a little bit more, Sienna Nikolic is scoring goals, Michaela Bariga scoring goals, um, Aaron's got three now. Uh, so basically what we try to do is keep it fresh. You have fresh legs in, new girls come in, the movement, we play a little bit different than we used to. We used to be a bit more direct, so now we try to play the balls in the feet and such like around corners. So that's that's pretty much the, big, the biggest change. Now you're going into the second half of your conference schedule after a tough first half, but again, the ECC is always a tough conference in terms of soccer in the second half. What can you guys keep doing to keep the success going as you make a push for the tournament? Yeah, we've got some very, very big games coming up, but we don't take anybody lightly. Um, I think we do what we do. We just keep, we, don't, we treat everyone with respect. Um, we go in with a game plan. We have a good idea of what our identity is and what we're going to do. We, I think we'll always score goals. If we can keep them out to the other end, I think we'll be, we'll be okay. But again, as I say, we've got some big games coming with some very, very good quality opposition. So we have to be on our medal or, or you know, bad things happen. Now, on your coaching staff, you brought in Laura Marinello this year, used to play for you. How has she affected the team being someone that not only played for you now, can relate from you now onto the field from a coaching position? Yeah, Lauren's a great character. I always wanted to bring her in. Uh, obviously, uh, we really miss uh, Kayla Roundsman, uh, who's, who's a great character as well. 
Uh, but Lauren's come in and uh, she's that link between, like I said, I've got the three coaches, the three male coaches, and Lauren's that link to the rest of the girls as well. Uh, so she's very, very good. She's obviously closer in age to them by a long way. So she knows um, what they're looking for and what they need, etc. Uh, because sometimes coaching um, women's sports can be um, not challenging, but it can obviously offers different challenges than, than coaching men's sports. All right, Steve, thank you very much for sitting down with us. This Pleasure. is Malloy Mid-Season Report, and we'll talk to Steve at the end of the year. Thank you. Appreciate it, Robert.